Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and you are most welcome. So we're going moving on to the next story mission in uh, this Let's Play series of this Jemadar faction on the KDF side. Um, and the next mission is called Home, so let's get our mission brief. In Persa, the home world of the Founders is under attack by the Herc. This is our darkest hour. If Empersa falls, the Dominion will come to an end. I'm asking you to join in the defense efforts as soon as you can. A task force will assemble at my fleet's location in the Gamma Quadrant and warp to Empersa from there. Remember, if we fall, the Alpha Quadrant is next. It's time to make a stand. I hope you'll join in the fight. All right. So this mission um, is a little unique in that it actually unlocks an emote and uh, it's called the heel rock. Um, basically your character rocks back and forth on its heels with its arms behind its back. Um, so yeah, just unique about that. Uh, it also does have this morphogenic Polaron energy weapon um, which is a 360 degree weapon or an omnidirectional weapon, whatever way you want to look at it. Uh, it is part of a set. Uh, the whole set is here in this mission. You can replay the mission to uh, pick up the other pieces. Uh, one is the um, Morphogenic Polaron Energy Torpedo. Um, this is unique in that it's a torpedo but it does Polaron damage. So instead of doing kinetic or you know physical damage, uh, it actually does Polaron damage, so it will, would be boosted by Polaron tactical consoles. And then you have this um, uh, tactical console, uh, Morphogenic Matrix Controller. Um, we most likely won't be using that. To be honest, I'm not even sure what the uh, set bonuses are for this set piece. Um, it's something that I might look at later on and see. I might use uh, the Omnidirectional and maybe the Torpedo, I don't know, we'll, we'll see later on. Um, you also have this then, a signal for a few Herc forces to reinforce your current position and assist you in combat for 25 seconds. Basically it's a distress call. And of course you have a flow capacitor which is just a, yeah, yeah whatever. Anyway, let's if accept that mission me. and we will jump in and begin the mission home. Um, so yeah, I don't know uh, what my end game is going to be like just yet. Um, I might come back to one or more pieces of uh, the set that is available in this mission. Uh, I most likely will be using the omnidirectional Polaron uh, beam array. That's almost a guaranteed certainty. Um, I'll probably use it in one of my rear fa um, weapon slots. And uh, I'll probably use a Borg Kinetic Cutting Beam, which you guys will get to see later on um, in the series. And uh, there's a crafted um, Polaron Omnidirectional Beam that you can get as well. Again, you guys will see that later on in the series. Anyway, looks like this mission has loaded up, so we're about to jump in. Previously on Star Trek Online, the Dominion as you know it is on the verge of collapse. Without your help, the Herc will win the war of attrition. What's happening? Yes, Garrick, I found your mysterious widget. What is it exactly? It's not Karemin Tech. I found a similar device. On Bajor. These devices called the Herc, and we put them there. The other founders are hiding things from me. Odo, look out! Hold your fire. I think it's trying to communicate. We can't hold off the Herc forever. Alliance forces are spread too thin to help, Quark. We need the Klingons, brother. Otherwise we're doomed. The Sword of Kalos has promised. Once again, the House of Quark delivers. Martok will be pleased. We found a secret I've kept for millennia. The origin of the Herc infestation. And you're rolling it. The Dominion must endure. I'm afraid I can't allow that. As we speak, every Herc in the Quadrant is homing in on the signal. And now the conclusion. Dum dum dum. I'm afraid that... that uh, agreed. Okay, we so... We may be needing your solution to this problem soon, Doctor. 
Yes, since yours failed in a spectacular fashion. Has it? Some might argue it's This is really like trying to fly a bus. This is the Chimera. We're here to help. The CSS Steadfast stands ready to assist you as well. Okay, we can pick up the pace here a little bit and jump a little bit closer. won't last much longer. We need to deal with the swarm attacking it immediately. Oh, that's a lot of ships on my six. Good so far. at the right time there. Well done. And we're not finished yet. Let's kick in evasive maneuvers, get into the fight a little bit quicker. and I have all we need. Okay. We'll need to find their central computer. Looks like... Enemy life signs ahead. 
Yep. Get ready to fight. Proceed. Bunch of enemies up ahead. Now, I can't remember if I said this uh, before in a previous episode, but I really, really love playing as engineers because um, you can have so much fun dropping turrets on the enemies and dropping mines, and um, they're just really, really fun to play on the ground. Uh, at least I find so, and I know many others do as well. Um, even on ground, there, it's you could argue that they're actually better than uh, tacticals, uh, believe it or not. Um, Uh, yeah, they're they're um, not OP, but they're they're definitely strong on the ground. Cause um, you can deploy so much spam with them. Um, you know, as I said, you can put down polar on tur or you know polar on disruptor turrets, whatever. Um, quantum mortars, mines. There's there's a lot of stuff that you can throw down with them, and then you can put down shield generators. Um, uh, medical health generators. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. Let's see if we can strategically place this. And we'll drop some more mines. Okay, that seems to be all of them taken care of in this area, so now let's move on to the next. Actually, there's something uh, I completely forgot to mention. Uh, Orbital Strike, which is absolutely fantastic on Engineers, and here it comes now. Boom! Uh, which is kind of stupid, you know, like you're on board a uh, ship and you call in an orbital strike that hits the interior and does nothing else. Um, yeah, kind of silly, but it's... Um, it's definitely very useful. I think that's this area cleared. Moving on to the next. Enemy 
had to go straight into my mines. That's what I want you guys to do. More mines. More mines! Oh man, that hurts. Strike, I think. Booyaka. Right. Uh, we have to talk to Dr. Bashir. Excellent work. Crap, I should have set up uh, mines and turrets before I talk to Dr. Bashir. Never mind, I can do it now. It is not the end of the world. Saving time by inverting the feed now instead of later. She's a bit of a shrew, huh? <laughs> this one goes here, that one goes there. Do you know a fast way to translate Herc language and reverse engineer their technology? So this portion of the mission is rather intense. Uh, you're, you're fighting off wave after wave after wave of Herc. Um, basically, it, it you could say it's on a timer, because uh, it kind of is. Do you see the progression bar? over Dr. Bashir. You're waiting for that to fill up, so technically there is a timer. Um, and, um, yeah, you, you just keep on fighting off wave after wave. And obviously the way it works is uh, the quicker you kill enemies, the more of them there are. If you spend, you know, 10 minutes on one group, then you'll only end up fighting one group. But, you know, you may as well be doing something um, for the duration.
Alright, so now we just have to clear the room uh, of the remaining Herc, and we can move on to the next portion. And now we just talk to Dr. Bashir, where he is over here. Almost ready here. This Wayun. Are you insane, Wayun? That was our last hope. How is this possible? You were in prison. I was liberated by those who still serve the truth. Not everyone is a traitor to the demon after all. There is only one traitor here, Wayun. It's time you paid the price for your treachery. Pathetic. <laughs> you can't even kill someone properly. Allow me to instruct you. You! Jemadar! Make yourself useful! Kill them! Give you an order! Open fire! Kill them, now! I think not. He's gone. And not a moment too soon. Bashir to command. Everyone, we have a problem. Alright, so now we're beaming up. That Herc fleet is about to attack our position. Okay, so now, um, as you can see, we're on to another portion that is in space. And we have to survive for a minute and 40 seconds, at least that's what's on the timer uh, at the moment. Loot, the most important. Almost up. There we go. Well, well. You're in quite a fix there, Logo. Brilliant observation, Quark. What do you want? Forgive my brother, Odo. We're here to help. The Ferengi cavalry? <laughs> I thought I'd seen everything. Ho <laughs> ho. The best is yet to come, Odo. Say hello to my dangerous friend. Well, Cork, we're waiting. Ron, where are they? Lose something, like your nerve, perhaps? Long ago, Takufma, the Unforgettable, lit the beacon of Kalos to restore glory to the Empire. Today, a new torchbearer, Worf, son of Moog, does the same. United? We now go to fight the enemy of our ancestors, 
today. We will fight the Herc. I now hold the weapon they fear most. The sword of Kalos has been returned to us. Join me now in honorable combat. Show the Herc what it truly means to be Klingon. For Kalos, for the Empire, Kapla! Maritop rocks. At least I think so anyway. I've always uh, really liked the Maritop character. I thought he was fantastic. And is actually one of our Klingon fleets uh, within the Priority One Armada. Um, yeah, we've got the House of Maritop, the House of Moog, and the House of Grilka. I think I mentioned uh, Grilka before in the previous episode. Um, I think Quark's Lucky 7 it was. Got about 20 more seconds of this. up the area so there's just a few more Herc here to take out. Let's get behind that shield. Alright, now we're beaming down to the planet's surface. Pretty lengthy mission, this one, actually, now that I think about it. Whom do we seek? Kalos! How do we find him? Together! Kalos, give us light to see forever! Will he hide from us always? Never! It's worse than we thought. Bring it on. Okay, so, um, this portion of the mission, there's a lot. And I mean a lot of Herc to take out. Um, and you will see that uh, very, very soon. Wait a minute, we have to speak to... where the hell are Here we are. Some Jemadar. Like well. Alright, now move on to the next wave.
Okay, I'm moving down. Oh, wow, we've got some uh, bridge officers down. I need to revive them. So, this is how it is. Yeah, uh, gonna need as much firepower as we can possibly get uh, down here, so you'll see why I didn't want to proceed without all my bridge officers. We won't last long out in the open like this. Odo Takira, we're fortifying our position near the Great Link. Understood. We're on our way. Yikes! That hurts. Just won't die. He's got some serious hit points. Finally got him. Okay, uh, now we have to talk to Aborta, which is over here. Your timing. And now we have to assist some um, founders, founders themselves. Okay, now we talk to this founder. Looks like there's still one or two left. Where the hell? Oh, there's one here. Looks like he's caught. And we can't target him. Oh well. If I can't target him, nothing I can do about it. And we have a bridge officer down here. Alright, moving on. use any abilities. That thing is kind of... There we go. Man, I really hate that debuff. It's 
So you can see what I was saying earlier on, that uh, this portion of the mission is rather intense. Well, I suppose the space portion, portion was rather intense as well, um, given the amount of ships that we had to blow up. Um, and believe me, uh, we're only halfway through it yet. You, you won't believe the hordes you have to fight off at the very end. It's absolutely crazy. Um, Alright, pick up loot. And talk to Founder. Here he is. I don't know you, Sovereign, but I thank you for your service. Okay, I think we'll go down to the left here. There, okay. Make our way back to the founder. Your timing is fortuitous. Solid. Okay, that's him taken care of. Now we can talk to the last founder and then proceed down to the Alamo. Is this some sort of solid invasion? Okay, so this is the last stand. Talk to Odo. made it. And <laughs> look at what's coming towards us. <laughs> oh man, it is absolutely nuts. Please tell me you have more gentlemen coming to help. The call's been sent, but they may not arrive in time. We'll do what we can with what we have then. As always, until the end. I'm not sure I like the way you said that, Odo. Nerys, if we don't make it... No, now is not the time for this discussion. Look around. There may not be a better time. I... You're right. And I understand what you do. Do, then you know how sorry I am for everything. Yes. I know. I, mean, I feel the same. Man, you definitely um, require a build, and when I say a build, I mean a ground build um, that can do area of effect damage. Uh, you know, some mines are fantastic for that. Grenades are very good for it as well. So tank and engineers can work uh, quite well on this. Uh, I suppose some of the science abilities can as well. Um, just 
I think the attack and engineer might be a little bit better. Come on, drop mines, drop mines. There we go, drop mines. Maurice, are you hurt? It's just a scratch. I'm fine. We're losing ground here, Odo. Keep fighting. We can't hold this position much longer. That's Jem Hadar, for we're about to die, Doctor. Are you ready? Not without the Ketracel components needed for the cure. Ketracel. Yes. Can you all see what's about to happen? Victory. Wait! Stop! Is life. It seems the battle is up. And that's it. That's the end of the mission. Uh, yeah, that was nuts. I think the end of that mission is just insane. Um, to say it's intense is an uh, understatement. Uh, it'd be good if you were playing with a team of four other people and um, they were all engineers and you just like lay down this wall of mines. It'd be fantastic. Um, right, anyway, so we just got to talk to a few NPCs here, Dr. Bashir, um, Kira, and so on and so forth, and we're going this way to the temple, uh, but basically, yeah, the mission is finished. Um, so we talked to Kira, uh, Kayopaka, and Laris, and then we're going, I want to say the Garrick shop, oh no, we're going to Quark's, we're going to Quark's, we're going to talk to Ram, Lita, Quark, uh, Martok, um, Will, I don't the Zanketi general, oh, when whose name I can't remember, to Nethpar, quite the Nog, yeah, they're all here anyway. Uh, yeah. All right, down here now to talk to Quark. Well, did you? That gonna, not much to. T who do you think you're gonna get you something? Interesting. I would. All right, now we're going to Garrick's, and um, we're going to talk to Garrick himself and. Um, the conflict made some. I can't remember what her name Thank is. Matri. Oh, oh, I believe. I and now the faction heads. There, as a. The mod. I am. All right, now we go back and talk to Bashir, and Odo. Things have up. The dem. Also. Um. Yeah, so anyway, um, 
take your time. If it's your first playthrough of that stuff, definitely take your time. This meeting is classified. It has come to my attention that you have been engaged in secret correspondence with the Elder First, Dukon Rex. With the passing of the Elder First, a great void has been created within your ranks. I do abhor a vacuum, and I believe it is your calling to fill that void. Continue your exemplary service. Honor the sacrifice of Dukan Rex. Let this victory enrich your life with the blessings of the Founders. And so you become the uh, first. So yeah, if it's your first time playing through those missions, as always, uh, definitely take your time. I know I do. The first time I play any mission, I always take my time. I read the um, uh, the content and listen to the voiceover and all that, and uh, basically enjoy the experience. So I highly recommend that you do the same. The future of the Dominion is uncertain for the first time in many years. Without the Founder and her unbreakable will at the center of it all, the Gamma Quadrant will undoubtedly go through a great deal of turmoil. I'll do what I can to maintain order and keep the peace, but it's going to be challenging, to say the least. For now, what matters to me is that you fought for the Dominion when we needed it the most. I won't forget that. And thanks to the Great Link, neither will the Founders. Thank you. I hope we meet again under much better circumstances. Right. As I mentioned at the beginning of this mission, I'm going to pick the uh, omnidirectional polar on beam array as our mission reward item, because I'll probably end up using it. And it hasn't got bad modifiers either. Uh, crit D and damage times 2. Uh, not bad. Okay, uh, we will leave it there for this episode. Thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. My name is Winters, and I'll catch you next time. So until then, take care.